Unreal Engine 5.3 has just been released as a preview and it comes with an improvement on the camera rig rail. It's now called the Cine Camera Rig Rail and it offers some interesting new features. For example, you can now store camera settings like focus, aperture or focal length directly in the points of the camera rig rail. Then when you animate over these points and you have a camera attached to the rig rail, the camera will automatically animate these camera properties. So let me show you how you can set this up. First of all, you need to make sure that you have the Unreal Engine 5.3 preview installed and then just create a new project with the right engine version. Once you're in your newly created project, you then just need to activate the new Cine Camera Rig Rail under Plugins and restart the engine. Then let's add it to our scene by typing Cine Camera and adding the Cine Camera Rig Rail. Now, once you have it in your scene, just click on it and select the Rail Spline component. And then make sure you actually have a spline point selected by again clicking on it. And now you can hold Alt or Command and drag the mouse and you can just duplicate the points very easily. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these numbers here, which show you the absolute indices of your points on the spline path. And you can later use them in the level sequencer to animate to position one or two and so on. Now, if you keep dragging from, from the left side here, it will create intermediary points. So it will create an absolute position of 1.5 here. This might not be what you want. Maybe you want to uh, reference integer numbers. So it can be useful to extend the path from, um, from your last spline point. Then it creates one, two, three, and so on. For example, now I have uh, four absolute positions here, one, two, three, and four. And in the camera rig rail settings, I can now just animate between these points by setting the absolute position on rail. Two is here, three is here, and four is here. And like I said, this can be also animated in the level sequencer. Now what you can see here is, depending on where I put these points, the coloration of the spline rail changes. And what this is telling us is the speed of the rig rail in this particular point on the rail. Red in this case means faster and blue means slower. And we can see this easily if we go in the settings of our rig rail and change the drive mode from manual, which is the default, to duration. Now what happens is that over 10 seconds, this uh, rig rail will move on the path depending on the speed in the particular points. So as you can see here, it's way slower towards the end and it's uh, translating the position way faster here in these reddish parts. Another interesting feature is the drive mode speed. Here you can set a speed property which specifies the drive speed of the rig rail in centimeter per second. And then no matter how many spline points you have on the rig rail or no matter how far the spline points are apart from each other, the speed will always remain at what you set here. Now let's create a Cine Camera Actor and attach it to our Cine Camera Rig Rail. And then also change the location and set it all to zero. And maybe offset it a bit on the Z axis. And what we can do then, and what is really, really handy is that we can go in the rail spline component on one of these points and we can change the orientation or other camera properties directly on the point. For example, I can now go into a point here and I can say that I want to have a, an animation in focal length from 0.3 to 0.4. Let's say I want to zoom in here in the last bit of this path. Or we can change the aperture also, the focus distance or the point orientation. And the point orientation I find easier to change directly in the viewport. So just select a point, go into the rotate tool and rotate directly here. All right, so let's create a path that is a little more interesting and also change th some of these uh, camera properties on the path. I have a dummy actor here and I want to create this camera path that comes from here up the mountain 
and then dollies in on the actor. So I basically just moved my path points around to create this path here. And now we will set the camera properties and change the focal length and also the orientation of the camera. In this case, I don't want to change the orientation of the spline points manually. And I find it easier to work with the tracking object on the camera. For this, I'm going to create a sphere and call it look at and then place it roughly next to your dummy actor and also check the toggle actor hidden in game so you won't see it in your camera view or in game. Then in your camera under look at tracking settings enable look at tracking and set the actor to your newly created sphere. Now we can also hide the camera rig rail in our camera view so I'm ticking again actor hidden in game and I'm pinning this camera preview here. To create some extra dramatic effect I want to actually create a dolly zoom here which means while I'm dollying in I'm actually decreasing the focal length or uh, zooming out. So let's adjust some of these uh, camera properties on the spline points. On point 3 I want to have a focal length of 80 and also on the points before. And then on this last point, I want to go really wide angle and maybe take something like 10. There you can already see it in the preview. So we are dollying in and at the same time zooming out to create like this particular effect. Then I'm going to adjust the lighting a bit. And as a little detail, I want to go in my cloud material. And under wind vector, I'm going to increase the wind strength to actually see the clouds moving in this shot. And there you go. That's all I wanted to show you, how you can use the new CineCamera rig rail in Unreal Engine 5.3 to create really easily uh, camera animations with camera properties directly on the spline points. Thanks for watching and please give me a like and a subscribe and see you next time.